Good morning friends, welcome to Raj Lothra's IS. So guys, here we are about to start. The PDF for today's session has already been uploaded on our Telegram group. You can download the PDF from our Telegram group. Okay. So the, the name of that PDF is mentioned as 1st of August 2022. So basically I forgot to add the Hindu analysis to this. Okay. But that PDF contains the content that we are going to deliver right now. So you can connect with us okay on our telegram group we are about to start the session within just one or two minutes we will be starting this session i am just doing some settings related to the mobile phone so that i can uh, have a look on your comments so just give me a minute we are just about to start the pdf for today's session has already been uploaded you can download the pdf okay so along with that i would like to tell you one thing that we have started with the public administration courses course and uh, it's not uh, like only 10 lectures have been uh, covered so far okay those were a bit introductory things we were going at a quite slower pace so you can connect with us okay you can connect with the management regarding demo and any other inquiry for public administration thank you very much so just give me a minute here Just give me a minute. I am about to start. Okay, sufficient number of people have already joined us and I am connected with you. Now I can have a look on your comments. Okay. So, uh, Yemen, Pooja, Nandini, Sakshi, Vikas, oh, sorry, Vicky, Ajay, Priti, Nisar. Good morning, everyone. So, let's start this session. Let's see what exactly is there for us. Okay, Rohit, good morning. So, here we are about to start. And today, in today's session, I have included some of the past years uh, you can say questions as well okay prelims questions related to multiple uh, you can say topics that are covered in today's newspaper so those have also been added in today's session okay so it is going to be a bit comprehensive session today so let's see what exactly is there for us in today's newspaper okay so sufficient number of people have already joined us and here we are about to start Chaliye. So let's see what else is there for us. Okay. So as you can see on the screen, Mahatma Gandhi says that the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Okay. So the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Definitely we can learn it from the life of Mahatma Gandhi himself. So he was a selfless person. Okay. And this is what is expected from you. That you should not be guided by your selfish motives. The, either, even in the service as well, the selflessness part of your character should be visible. Okay. And should be the guiding force for your actions. Now, this is what you have to understand. See, it also mentions, it's, it is also linked to happiness. Okay. That what draws happiness within you. Now, if people around you are not happy. Okay. How can you be happy if people around you, they are not happy, then how can you remain happy with that? This is the point you have to understand. So at present, there are a lot of issues around us. Poverty, okay, illiteracy, unemployment is there, etc, etc, etc. This shows that people are unhappy. People are unhappy, okay. So... Suganya, don't worry, uh, like I have a, I just had a check on the voice, okay, I'm quite uh, loud and all, so you have to just look at your end. So, poverty and lot of problems are there, now if those scenarios are there, you cannot live happily in this world, okay, because if you are living like that, it means that you are living with ignorance, aap ignorance ke saath ji rahe ho, theek hai na? Aap ignorance ke saath ji rahe ho, okay? So, you have to look into this. You have to look into this, okay? So, you have to live with consciousness. That's the point here. You have to understand what are things around you, okay? I am quite audible. Ram Tripathi, please have a look at your end. Aapke end pe kuch gadbada. 
so this is the point mahatma gandhi has said that if you want happiness in your life then you have to make sure that you have to remove pain of others dusron ke dard ko dur karna bhi zaruri hai you have to remove the pain of others that's the critical point this is what mahatma gandhi has said okay so you can link it with the teachings of vivekananda as well vivekananda has said that service to the humanity is the service to the god service to the humanity is the service to the god okay that if you are serving the society serving the humanity serving the mankind then that's the real you can say devotion towards the god this is the point it is we need to understand this thing how much wealth are we going to accumulate kitni wealth hum accumulate kar lenge there is no limit to that okay but can we draw satisfaction out of it certainly not because there is no end to it koi end hai hi nahi but if you are helping others definitely you are going to make changes in someone's life kisi ki life aap improve kar rahe ho then automatically you will also feel happy khud ba khud ek khushi aati hai okay this is what mahatma gandhi wanted you to do and in even in bureaucracy as well you have to understand this thing you will be paid salary aapko salary milegi okay that will be sufficient for you but we cannot compare it with the other professions because we are going to be part of public service aap public service ka part hone wale ho okay so this this profession has some different requirement this profession has some different requirement you need to work with different mindset here you need to consider humanity means yourself as part of the humanity this is what is going to be you can say fruitful for your service as well as for the nation this is what mahatma gandhi wanted to say okay so let's move to the major section today so raut in ed custody okay so this is how uh, ed is being like active right now okay people are saying that this is again a political vendetta going on see you need to understand like misuse of these agencies this is not right okay kahin na kahin ye cheez kharab hai for the political you can say motive and all because it sends a bad message within the society bahut hi kharab message jata hai society ke andar okay and we don't we should not means government should act responsibly regarding it it is really very important bahut zaruri hai unke end pe isko responsibly deal karna it is not the right thing here okay so people will lose trust on these institutions kahin na kahin trust jo hai wo chala jayega yahan pe so this was the point now bengal police arrest bengal police arrest three jha so uh, three jharkhand mlas ko arrest kiya hai yahan pe again so it is in line with you can say issue related to corruption and all the amount of cash that has been received okay so the amount of cash that has been caught is seriously you can say alarming thing because you can figure it out how you know muscle and money power is playing role in the politics okay to kis tarike se muscle aur money power jo hai wo role karti hai aapke politics ke andar so this is the point this is the point okay it's a sad thing it's a sad thing it should not happen like this politicians should come clean on these things okay to agar aisa kuch ho raha hai to it's a it's a sad thing for the democracy now uh, use of money power elections okay what is the solution do we have now there are multiple solutions that are suggested one of them is the state funding it's not a complete state funding partial state funding ek to ye suggest hota hai theek hai na partial state funding whether it is implemented or not we have to look into this till now there has been no such plan okay abhi tak ye sirf debate chal rahi hai koi plan as such nahi aaya hai theek hai na so we have to look into this till the time the system is working like this you cannot expect that system to improve agar sab kuch aise hi chalta raha to aap us system se improvement expect nahi kar sakte ho because this is a faulty system okay 
this is a faulty system and your politicians political you can say executive they are the beneficiaries of this particular system कहीं ना कहीं वो इस सिस्टम के बेनिफिशियरी है ना इफ दे आर द बेनिफिशियरीज ऑफ दिस सिस्टम दे विल नॉट अलाउ द सिस्टम टू चेंज एज सिंपल एज दैट सो एट द एंड ऑफ द डे ऑल विल डिपेंड अपॉन द अवेयर्ड वोटर इफ योर वोटर इज अवेयर्ड देन डेफिनेटली ही विल बी एबल टू चूज राइट सेट ऑफ यू कैन से पीपल राइट पीपल इन दिस जॉब that's the most crucial point so till that point till the time we are not voting seriously and we are uh, voting on the communal lines with the identity politics things are not going to change cheeze itni aasani se badlengi nahi okay this is the important point you have to understand other than that spectrum bids crosses 1.5 lakh crore mark on the 6th day of 5g ऑप्शन ओके सो वी आर एंटरिंग अ न्यू एज आप एक नई एज में एंटर कर रहे हो एंड इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट सो दिस बिडिंग सिस्टम दिट हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यूस ओके आफ्टर टू मेनी स्कैम्स बहुत सारे स्कैम होने के बाद बिडिंग सिस्टम आया है इट द सिस्टम अपीयर्स टू बी ट्रांसपेरेंट ओके एंड हु इज द बेनिफिशरी ऑफ दिस ट्रांसपेरेंट सिस्टम इट इज द पीपल बिकॉज एट द एंड ऑफ द डे मनी दैट विल बी कलेक्टेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट इट विल बी यूज फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ द पीपल दिस इज हाउ इट इज so arora is new delhi police commissioner and this is the uh, inter you can say cadre thing that was carried out so he was an officer of tamil nadu cadre okay tamil nadu cadre ips officer and uh, he has been now uh, appointed as the delhi police commissioner okay so ek cadre se dusre cadre mein inko shift kiya gaya hai uh, delhi and the ut they have a separate cadre and now from the tamil nadu cadre he will be working as a uh you can say police commissioner of delhi okay so the gentleman has a distinguished record kafi acha inka record hai yahan pe theek hai na so like it's a good thing it's a good thing and an experienced person is going to be you know head of the delhi police okay so we'll move to the next part aage chalte hain dekhte hain see in the urban areas the crime is quite complex तो अर्बन क्राइम बहुत कॉम्प्लेक्स होता है तो यू नीड पीपल हु हैव द इनसाइट ओवर दोज पर्टिकुलर थिंग्स काफी अलग से समझदारी वाले लोग चाहिए होते हैं ओके सो हेयर वी आर स्टार्टिंग दिस द एडिटोरियल दैट टुडे इज देयर सो टुडेज एडिटोरियल इज अबाउट द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग एक्ट ओके प्रिवेंशन ऑफ मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग एक्ट तो सबसे पहले आपको मालूम होना चाहिए वट इज मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग what exactly is money laundering that should be known to you okay i have explained it in the past sessions as well i will again uh, explain it to you now what is done in the money laundering money that is earned through illegal source okay money that is earned through illegal source is given a mask of legality kahin na kahin galat paisa kamaya jata hai okay एंड उसको फिर लेजिटिमेट मनी बताया जाता है दिस इज द इलीगल मनी दैट विल बी अर्न एंड यू आर गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड लेजिटिमेसी टू दैट ओके ना दिस देर आर डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ डूइंग इट आई आई टेल यू एक्स वेल नाउ सपोज फिल्म मेकिंग ओके फिल्म मेकिंग नाउ इन फिल्म मेकिंग लाइक देर आर लॉट ऑफ कैश ट्रांजेक्शन दैट आर इन्वॉल्व बहुत सारा कैश ट्रांजेक्शन है जो इन्वॉल्व होता है ओके इन दैट सिनेरियो यू कैन नॉट कीप एन अकाउंट दैट हाउ मच मनी इज बीइंग यूज्ड एंड इन दैट सिनेरियो अर्लियर देयर यूज टू बी अ ट्रेंड दैट यू कैन से मनी फ्रॉम द ड्रग्स मनी फ्रॉम अदर इलीगल सोर्सेस स्मगलिंग एंड ऑल वो पैसा फिल्म में लगता था इंडिया में ऐसा होता था ओके देन there was another you can say area where you can say illegal money can be used and that is your construction activity construction activity that is real estate to so real estate mein bhi gadbad hoti hai okay real real estate mein bhi gadbad hoti hai now it is not mask of legality it is mask of legality mask of legality mukhota okay legality ka mukhota padhaya jata hai now in the real real estate you cannot keep account how much material is used bhai kitna material lag raha hai aapko pata thodi na hai 
there is a big building that is to be constructed flats are to be constructed say uh, 1800 flats are to be constructed now we will not be able to know how much cement and all all these things are used in that so there is a big chance that you can you can under invoice or over invoice the transaction by jitna material laga hai uski under invoicing bhi possible hai or over invoicing bhi possible hai so in this way in this way cash money can be used in this way the cash money can be used in the system and aap illegally kamaye hue paise ko legal bana doge because once the building is you can say constructed after that aapko flat bechne hai there is a proper registration and all so this is how in this way money laundering is done now to prevent this money laundering we have a separate legal arrangement that is prevention of money laundering act there are many cases where money laundering is being used by the criminal networks okay so that's why it's a very serious thing even the terror network they also use the money laundering this is how the system is working now here in india with this prevention of money laundering act the provisions are very stringent bahut hi stringent provision hai okay and at present the supreme court judgment said that those stringent provisions are required wo stringent provisions required hai now with those stringent and the tough provisions that are there in indian system बेल इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट आपको बेल नहीं मिलती आपको जेल जाना पड़ता है ओके दिस सिनेरियो इज देयर सो हेयर लाइक इट इज बींग सेट दैट द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग एक्ट सम हाउ इट क्रिएट्स अ प्रॉब्लम ओके एंड दे आर सेइंग दैट इट इज एन अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल लॉ टू सम एक्सटेंट बिकॉज बेल जो है यहां पर एक्सेप्शन मानी गई है बेल नहीं मिलती है इस के अंदर this is the point that is there so it is being said that it is against the justice and fairness why it is against the justice and fairness because innocence okay innocent until proven guilty innocent until proven guilty this is the guiding goal for the jurisdiction in india aapka judicial system is cheez pe base karta hai बट हियर इफ यू आर डिनाइंग बेल अगर आप किसी को बेल डिनाई कर रहे हो ओके देन इट मीन्स दैट यू आर कंसिडरिंग दैट पर्सन टू बी डेंजरस भाई वो इनोसेंट तो नहीं है अगर आप किसी को बेल डिनाई करो कर रहे हो यू आर लुकिंग इन टू दिस यू हैव अ डाउट वेदर दैट पर्सन इज हैविंग सम गिल्ट और नॉट दिस प्रोविजन इज देयर दिस प्रोविजन इज देयर नाउ दिस इज वॉट दे आर सेंग दिस इज वॉट दे आर सेंग दैट the provisions under prevention of money laundering act somehow creates these sort of problems and liberty of the person can be curtailed so here we have the definition of money laundering money laundering refers to the process through which proceeds from criminal activity illegally attained money it will be marked with the view of concealing their illegitimate source bhai jo garat paisa kamaya hai uska source to hata diya jayega and you are going to provide it a legitimate you can say face so prevention of money laundering act there is a section 3 in the act which which defines which defines the definition of money laundering as whosoever directly or indirectly attempts to indulge or knowingly assist knowingly is a party or is actually involved in any process or activity connected with the proceeds of crime including concealment possession acquisition or use and projecting and claiming it as untainted property shall be guilty of the offense matlab agar aapne illegally koi cheez acquire ki hai illegally koi cheez attain ki hai and aap ye keh rahe ho ki ye legal property hai then it will be considered as a case of money laundering galat tarike se paisa kama ke aap ye nahi keh sakte ki it is a legitimate source this is what has been said here this is what has been said here now the point that has been raised i told you this particular point that bail conditions are to be made very difficult under the present arrangement aur bail milna chahiye yahan pe because there are lot of you can say uh, under trials in indian prisons bahut sare under under trials hai yahan pe bahut sare log yahan pe jail mein hai overcrowding is there in your jail okay and you are denying bail that's bit problematic so 
this particular there is a provision in section 45 now this provision requires that court should be satisfied with two things one there are reasonable grounds for believing that the accused is not guilty of offense and that he or she is not likely to commit any offense while on bail ab pehli cheez ye manna hai court ko ki ye guilty nahi hai dusri cheez that even out of bail he is not going to create any trouble but if the court is denying the bail then it means that court is considering that person to be guilty and court has a doubt that whether on bail he will do something kuch karenge garbad ke kya se this is how this law is against the principle of innocent until proven guilty ye cheez sabse badi problem create kar rahi hai aaj ki date mein okay so we have to look into these aspects and prevention of money laundering act it has to be relooked ab relook ka kaam kiska hai dekho relook has to be done by the parliament okay it has to be done by the legislature there should be debate in the parliament regarding the provision of prevention of money laundering act but aisa hota kuch nahi hai because we know that uh, parliamentary system like they are not debating anything the quality of the debate and all it is all going down okay so this is bit problematic here ye sabse badi problem hai yahan pe theek hai na system have to be improved and ye at present supreme court is not in a mood to do anything so maybe in future like higher judge bench can also look into this okay right now the nine judge bench came out with the judgment but majorly dekhenge ki aage kya hone wala hai theek hai na this is how it is okay at present the provisions are very stringent bahut strict hai yahan pe so let's move to the next editorial so here we have this editorial related to wto okay so india's wheat waiver wto demand is risk fraud so now there are few things before starting this let's look into this particular question that has been asked from the wto topic okay so in your mains 2018 there was a question on regarding this so it was saying that what are the key areas of reform if the wto has to survive in the protest of trade war especially keeping in mind the interest of india okay so at that time trade war was going on between us and uh, china तो डब्ल्यूडीओ को क्या करना चाहिए हाउ द रिफॉर्म हैव टू बी कैरिड आउट दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन दे डिड आस्क देन देयर वाज अनदर क्वेश्चन दैट वाज देयर द टर्म एग्रीमेंट ऑन एग्रीकल्चर एग्रीमेंट ऑन द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ सैनिटरी एंड द फाइटो सैनिटरी मेजर्स एंड प्लीज क्लॉज अपीयर इन द न्यूज़ फ्रीक्वेंटली इन कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ व्हिच ओके सो दिस क्वेश्चन वाज देयर इन योर प्रीलिम्स 2015 नाउ एज आई टोल्ड यू दिस इज आल्सो रिलेटेड टू द डब्ल्यूडीओ ओके because peace claw we are going to discuss it today aaj ke editorial mein ye peace claw ke bare mein bhi hai okay so it will be discussed today it will be explained there today what exactly is this about so we know that agreement on agriculture exist and this is also part of the wto thing now there was another type of question in prelims 2018 so it was regarding india enacted geographical indication of goods registration and protection act 1999 in order to comply with obligation to again this is also in line with the wto instructions okay so uh, trade related aspects of intellectual property right trips this is you can say debate discussion under your uh, wto part okay usi ka ye part hai aur usi ke andar jo hai ye cheez ki jati hai now these all you can say questions are I has been asked in on WTO. Ab 2018 mein aaya. From last two three you can say years there has been no question. So if you are appearing for say 2023 or 2024, then this is the prominent area. This is the prominent area. Okay, WTO se question aayega hi aayega. Ab man ke rakhiye hi. ठीक है ना? So this is how it is. Now let's discuss this particular editorial. Now. you have to understand this thing wto the organization was formed to facilitate free trade okay puri duniya mein free trade hona chahiye now whenever countries their government they are intervening interfering directly or indirectly okay ab jab sarkar ghusti hai beech mein directly or indirectly it impacts the free trade kahin na kahin free trade ke upar impact hota hai so i would like to give you an example suppose the minimum support price that has been issued by the government of india and in india the procurement is done on the minimum support price okay 
Now, normally minimum support price, it is more than the international market. ज्यादा से ऐसा ही होता है कि जो इंटरनेशनल मार्केट में कीमत चल रही होती है उससे ज्यादा आपकी जो है ये प्राइस होती है ओके दिस इज हाउ इट इज दिस इज हाउ इट इज नाउ इन दिस अरेंजमेंट इन दिस अरेंजमेंट डब्ल्यू टी ओ प्रिंसिपल सेज दैट यू कैन नॉट डिस्टॉर्ट द प्राइसिस बिकॉज अब सरकार अगर जबरदस्ती फार्मर को ज्यादा पैसे दे रही है इट मीन्स दैट इट विल डिस्टॉर्ट द प्राइस ओके इंटरनेशनल मार्केट में प्राइस भी डिस्टोर्ट होगा एंड अदर पॉइंट इज दिस नाउ वी आर मेंटेनिंग अ बफर स्टॉक ओके वी आर मेंटेनिंग अ बफर स्टॉक एंड बफर स्टॉक इज ह्यूज मींस यू कैन फीड इंडियन पॉपुलेशन फॉर थ्री इयर्स दिस इज द यू कैन से अमाउंट ऑफ फूड दैट वी हैव बट इफ द बफर स्टॉक इज पुट इन द इंटरनेशनल मार्केट ये सारा का सारा अनाज अगर इंटरनेशनल मार्केट में डाल दिया जाए it will completely damage the pricing system in international market so at present the prices are quite high wheat ke upar aaj ke date mein price bahut zyada hai international market mein but if indian you can say wheat is dumped in that international market then prices will fall immediately ekdam se price gir jayega and as the prices will fall immediately it will be you can say detrimental for the global market system so this is how it is and wto it doesn't allow this sort of subsidy minimum support price is sort of a subsidy ye aapki subsidy ki tarah act karta hai theek hai na subsidy ki tarah act karta hai okay so we have to be very cautious while doing this because all other countries are having you can say a look over you sabki nazar aapke upar rehti hai ki aap kya kar rahe ho so if india is continuing with this subsidy then definitely those countries are going to make india accountable okay now wto has this provision okay wto has this provision that permanent solution to the issue of public stock holding of food to protect india's food security uh, this system is there okay now this policy is based on procuring food from farmers okay and the minimum support price it is provided to them ye provide kiya jata hai unko okay uh, this policy serves the twin objective at one point that you will offer the remunerative price to the farmer providing the subsidized food to the underprivileged okay ab aap farmer ko bhi help kar dete ho so that farmer can sustain apna kaam kar sake aur sath sath jo hai underprivileged jo hai unko bhi we provide food to them pds and all unko bhi paisa mil jata hai but wto says that this whole system it breaches the wto law and this distorts the subsidy it this distorts the market system market is based on demand and supply मार्केट बेस किस पे करता है डिमांड और सप्लाई के ऊपर मार्केट प्राइस ओके बट हेयर आर्टिफिशियली विद द गवर्नमेंट इंटरवेंशन वी आर समहाउ क्रिएटिंग ट्रबल और ये चीज ये चीज जो है प्रॉब्लमेटिक है ओके दिस इज हाउ इट इज बिट प्रॉब्लमेटिक नाउ द पॉइंट दिस द पॉइंट टू दिस इज दैट वी नीड टू वर्क ऑन इट इन द सेंस we have to talk वी हैव टू एंगेज विद डब्ल्यू टी ओ बिकॉज दीज सब्सिडीज दे आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर इंडिया स्पेसिफिकली फॉर इंडियन फार्मर हमारे इंडियन फार्मर के लिए हम ये कर रहे हैं वी आर वी हैव टू प्रोटेक्ट दैम वी हैव टू प्रोटेक्ट दैम ओके वी कैन नॉट अंडरमाइन दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग इस चीज को बिल्कुल भी हम अंडरमाइन नहीं कर सकते ठीक है ना सो फार्मर्स के लिए भी तो कोई इंसेंटिव होना चाहिए ना इफ वी आर गोइंग टू यू कैन से रिमूव दीज पर्टिकुलर असिस्टेंस दैट वी आर गिविंग अगर हम ये जो असिस्टेंस दे रहे हैं वो फार्मर से ले लेंगे देन इट इज गोइंग टू बी यू कैन से बैड फॉर देम एंड दे माइट नॉट बी कंटिन्यूइंग देयर फार्मिंग वो उसके बाद शायद अपनी फार्मिंग को कंटिन्यू भी ना करें ओके चांसेस इतने खराब हो सकते हैं तो यू हैव टू इंसेंटिवाइज द फार्मर एंड फॉर दैट एंड फॉर दैट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया प्रोवाइड दिस अरेंजमेंट ओके इसलिए गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया जो है ये चीज प्रोवाइड करता है एंड there is another clause that is peace clause peace clause says that for the time being okay for the time being the provisions that are there for the time being the provisions that are there in wto they 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 will not be applicable to some of the countries who are doing it for their food security ab jo countries apni food security ke liye स्टॉक पाइलिंग करते हैं ओके बफर स्टॉक मेंटेन करके रखते हैं फॉर देम फॉर देम 
like this particular provision will not be applicable but there is no permanent solution iska koi permanent solution nahi nikla hai because this peace clause it is a temporary relief it is just a time being temporary relief okay ye aage ja ke aapse cheena bhi ja sakta hai theek hai na and developed nations they have this problem developed nations ko bahut zyada problems bhi rehti hai specifically from india as we do provide these subsidies okay as we do provide these subsidies and this is how this debate is on this is how this debate is on okay so this is the important point that you have to understand ye ek important point hai jo aapko yahan pe samajhna hoga theek hai na permanent solution abhi tak nahi aaya hai there are talks that are going on and still we are struggling to find a permanent solution okay now we have to provide food for the indians as well वो भी हमें करना है फार्मर्स को भी सपोर्ट करना है ओके एंड वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग कैश ट्रांसफर्स वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग फ्री इलेक्ट्रिसिटी टू देम दो सॉर्ट ऑफ सब्सिडीज हैव बीन प्रोवाइडेड इन इंडियन यू कैन सी इकोसिस्टम हम उनको जरूर प्रोवाइड करते हैं ये सारी चीजें ओके सो एट प्रेजेंट द लेटेस्ट कॉन्फ्रेंस दैट वॉज कंक्लूडेड इन जिनेवा इन दैट मीटिंग थिंग्स वर यू कैन से डिस्कस एंड इंडिया डिमांडेड दैट फॉर द टाइम बींग इंडियन वीट शुड बी अलाउड टू एंटर द इंटरनेशनल मार्केट now wto law says that products that are subsidized okay jahan pe subsidy mili hai they cannot be put in the international market means we know that we are allowed to carry out the you can say msp and all but as we are procuring on msp and not on the market principles so uh, india cannot put that particular grain or put that particular material in the international market hum kahin pe bhi wo us grain ko international market mein nahi dal sakte okay because this is as per the wto provision now at present we are demanding that internationally there is a shortage of wheat going on so we are insisting that please allow us to export food and that's why we are demanding for a temporary waiver अब हम जो है एक्सपोर्ट करने के लिए बोल रहे हैं कि इंडियन वीट को अलाउ करो वी हैव अ बफर स्टॉक बहुत सारा बफर स्टॉक है हमारे पास ओके सो इन दैट सिनेरियो वी आर अगेन डिमांडिंग दिस कि अलाउ अस टू यू कैन से एक्सपोर्ट आर फूड ग्रेन बिकॉज दिस इज द अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑन विच वी वॉन्ट टू कैश ऑन ये अपॉर्चुनिटी अच्छी हमें नजर आती है और हमें लगता है कि हाँ जी वो अच्छा मौका है ठीक है ना द पॉइंट इज दिस द पॉइंट इज दिस WTO might not be ready for this. Okay, though there are provisions under WTO that under exceptional circumstances these things should be allowed. By exceptional circumstances, me, jo hai, ye chiz allow kar di jani jani chahiye. This provision also is there in WTO, but still we are not moving on that. WTO might not be ready for this. Okay, WTO is chiz ke liye shayad ready na ho. So this provision, this debate is going on. now people are saying that we should not look into this okay because we should not be too you can say optimistic about it because there is a history to this that wto will not be providing us that waiver hame us cheez ka waiver jo hai wo nahi milega because we have this in you can say during the covid 19 spread as well we also uh, demanded that the waiver should be given but at that time as well waiver was not given उस टाइम पे भी वेवर नहीं मिला था अब उस टाइम पे वेवर नहीं मिला तो आपको अब कैसे एक्सपेक्ट करोगे कि वेवर विल बी गिवन ओके सो द चांसेस आर वेरी यू कैन से लेस बहुत ही कम चांसेस हैं दिस इज द पॉइंट दे आर मेकिंग हियर ओके सो वी हैव टू लुक इनटू दिस एस्पेक्ट नाउ एट प्रेजेंट व्हीट प्रोक्योरमेंट हैज बीन 57% लेस देन द ओरिजिनल टारगेट भाई जितना टारगेट था उतना तो आप प्रोक्योर भी नहीं कर रहे हो so why are you insisting on uh, these waivers aap faltu mein waiver ke par kyon apni energy waste kar rahe ho this is the point that is being raised okay this is the point that is being made ab ye point yahan pe bataya gaya hai so we have to see how things will turn up definitely the waiver will not be provided okay to ye chalta rehta hai international market mein and specifically we have to look into the interest of our farmers our producers and international rules are also there developed nations they will have system of their own okay so we'll move to the next part next is related to the representation all the way up okay so it looks into the multiple aspects it looks into the aspects of uh, reservation okay in the local bodies so aapki local bodies mein reservation jo hai uske upar ye baat karta hai basically this is the reason why we have a 
president from a woman president from tribal areas okay so this point is really very important here if this reservation would not have been there then we would not have been able to see her as our president ye cheez bata raha hai yahan pe theek hai na and it's a really good you can say analysis that has been done here okay so let's look into this editorial now this editorial pointing towards multiple things like president murmu uh, she was first person belonging to the st community and second woman to occupy the constitutional post highest constitutional post of the country that is president of india okay ab ye cheez yahan pe hai ki isse pehle woman st woman president nahi hui hain to ye pehli hai yahan pe okay and uh, she is the youngest person to be elected as the president and first to be born in independent india so these are some of the facts that should be known to you ye sare facts aapko malum hone chahiye now she belongs to village in mayurbhanj district of odisha she belongs to santhal tribe the one of the largest st communities in india now there was a question in prelims 2018 on the santhal tribe okay so please try to attempt this question this question says that santhal uprising subsided what was were major taken by the colonial government okay so these measures were taken after the you can say santhal uprising now santhal uprising we will look into that detail as well thodi bahut baatein uske andar bhi janenge so it was regarding the territories called santhal pranganas were created this is the correct thing it became illegal for a santhal to transfer land to non santhal this is also right so c is the right answer to this now in 1955 56 there was a santhal revolt that took place okay uh, it was sort of a first peasant movement that took place and this revolt was a reference to the establishment of permanent land settlement of 1793 Santhal rebellions were led by four Murmu brothers Siddhu Kano Chand and Bhairav okay so it was and kai jagahon pe missing bhi hai kai jagahon pe mention hota hai they were uh, against the oppressive zamindari system in that area so this sort of you can say information is useful for you and this is how this particular content uh, provides you how do you have to you know prepare your prelims okay ab ye aaya hai thoda bahut aap apne level pe bhi padhna Uh, pick out your modern history books and you have to read it on your own okay so santhal revolt ke bare mein aap log thoda bhi padhna now if you look into the murmu's political career she started as a you can say uh, local representative okay so she was a direct beneficiary of 73rd and 74th constitutional amendment act because by this act powers functions functionaries funds these were devolved to the local bodies okay local bodies mein ye powers di gayi thi these bodies were to developed as the institutions of self government mahatma gandhi was a big you can say fan of panchayati raj system and he used to promote it he used to say that panchayats local bodies they are the way out for our self governance system this is the debate as well B R Ambedkar. Now B R Ambedkar was against the local government model. B R Ambedkar is के favour में नहीं थे. B R Ambedkar कहते थे कि that village system in India, like it is a sink of localism, a den of ignorance, narrow mindedness and communalism. That if you are putting too much emphasis on the local governance system, then these are the additional headaches that you have to deal with. कि भाई विलेजर तो सिर्फ अपने लोकल इश्यूज के बारे में बात करेगा ही विल नॉट हैव एन आउटलुक ओवर द हाउ थिंग्स आर बीइंग डन इन द कंट्री लेवल नेशनल लेवल पे क्या चल रहा है विलेजर्स को मालूम ही नहीं होगा ओके दे विल हैव देयर ओन कास्ट प्रेजुडिस कम्युनलिज्म दोस माइंडसेट्स आर आल्सो गोइंग टू प्रिवेल दे विल नॉट हैव अ ग्लोबल आउटलुक दिस इज व्हाट बी आर अंबेडकर पॉइंटेड आउट so later on we found this particular thing that 73rd and 74th amendment act it was a big liberator okay because with this idea like reservation was provided to the women and in this way it was also realizing the gandhian goal of gram swaraj to gandhi ji ka jo gram swaraj ka idea tha usko bhi ye acche se deal kar raha tha so we know that even in the pancha even in the uh, you can say special special provisions were also made for sc and st population that rat right arrangement was also done 
so with this outcome like miss murmu she was she got a chance to be elected as a counselor okay municipal counselor ka jo hai unko mauka mila and later on she moved on with her political career baad mein mla and all wahan se political career shuru hua hai so this is how it is now almost 30 years after passing these constitutional amendments that is the unit of self government okay things have improved a lot now women reservation has provided like there are 14 lakh 53000 women you can say representatives it's a really good number it's a really good number you have to you can say keep it with you most of the states they have moved to towards 50% b state aise hain jahan pe 50% reservation ho gayi hai so we do understand there are problems like empirical studies ye batate hain ki ha abhi bhi uh, women jo hai as a proxies use hoti hain but parallel to that it is showing that those particular panchayats where women panch or sarpanch are there those panchayats are spending more on social sector पब्लिक गुड्स पे जो है वहां पे ज्यादा एक्सपेंडिचर होता है प्रायोरिटी पे आती हैं वो चीजें दिस इज हाउ इट इज इट इज रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके दिस इज हाउ इट इज रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो ये चीजें समझनी जरूरी हैं देन ऑल दीज थिंग्स लेट टू द लाइक यू कैन से इमरजेंस ऑफ मुरमू एज अ प्रेजिडेंट ओके सो ये सारी बात समझनी है विदाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर यू कैन से अफर्मेटिव एक्शन चीजें इतनी आसानी से नहीं हो पाती इंडिया में okay this was the point here so we'll move to the next part here bringing eurasia closer now it is it regarding to the international north south corridor okay so here you have to understand this thing so this is the international north south corridor that is idea is to connect mumbai to st petersburg okay so it is a multimodal you can say idea corridor where you have road system where you have rail system and you have the ports likes ship bhi chalenge okay so this idea is there now in this idea we are exploring our connectivity to st petersburg and iran india and russia okay they are the major players ye sabse zyada teen hain yahan pe khiladi so this editorial is saying one thing this editorial is saying that india didn't say anything to russia humne russia ko kuch nahi kaha after this ukraine invasion he says that one of the reason is this that we don't want to sabotage international north south transport corridor ki bhai hum kisi bhi halat mein international north south transport corridor ko sabotage nahi karna chahte kharab nahi karna chahte this is our you can say mindset ye hamara mindset hai yahan pe so it's a good thing it's a good thing it is providing a different view because till now we were thinking that because of our defense dependence on russia we are not criticizing russia bhai hum russia ke upar apne defense ke liye dependent hai isliye nahi bol rahe but here is a larger geopolitical angle to that that we want this transport corridor to be a success okay and without the russian support it is not possible we want our connectivity to the eurasian free trade area यूरेशिया के अंदर ये जो सेंट्रल एशिया है यहाँ पे हम अपना प्रेजेंस चाहते हैं वी वॉन्ट दैट कनेक्टिविटी टू बी देयर एंड दिस इज द रीजन वाई वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू लूज रशिया एज अ गुड पार्टनर दिस इज वट हैज बिन रेस्ड हेयर ओके ये सारी चीजें यहाँ पे बता गई नाउ दिस इज द लीगल फ्रेमवर्क दैट हैज बिन फैसिलिटेटेड एंड देर आर अदर पार्टिसिपेंट्स एज वेल सो कजाकिस्तान बेलरूस ओमान तजिकिस्तान अजरबैजान अर्मीनिया सीरिया दे हैव ऑल्सो साइंड इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ एक्सेशन टू बिकम मेंबर्स ऑफ आई एन एस टी सी सो बहुत सारे कंट्रीज यहाँ पे आ रहे हैं ठीक है ना एंड देर इज रियली रिमार्केबल थिंग्स दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर डेवलपमेंट इज गोइंग टू रिड्यूस द फ्रेट कोस्ट बाय थर्टी परसेंट and journey time by 40% okay jo conventional sea route hai abhi ab ye conventional sea route dekho lambe wala rasta to isse kafi chhota ho jayega aapka rasta so it's a really good thing it's a win win thing ye bahut achhi cheez hai if we continue with this now it is also important for our link with the you can say afghanistan as well now we have invested in afghanistan humne afghanistan mein bhi bahut invest kiya hai from that perspective as well this area this particular idea of instc is important ye pura ka pura idea hamare liye important hai because this is the you can say 500 km chabahar jalaram railway line that india might be interested in so this is really important point and like prospects are while quite strengthened because taliban government they are also providing support to this 
हमारी विल के ऊपर है कि हम कितना प्रोएक्टिवली काम करना चाहते हैं इसके ऊपर तालिबान वाले भी इसको लेके काफी खुश हैं ओके सो दिस इज द ओवरऑल सिनेरियो दैट इज देयर दिस वाज स्लाइट अ डिफरेंट यू कैन से पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दैट वाज मेंशन इट मींस वी आर मूविंग टुवर्ड्स मल्टी अलाइनमेंट हम मल्टी अलाइन हो रहे हैं हम यूएस के साथ भी काम कर रहे हैं हम रशिया के साथ भी काम कर रहे हैं क्वाड इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस ओके एंड दिस आई एन एस टी सी इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस ये दोनों चीजें हमारे लिए इंपॉर्टेंट है दिस इज आउ इंडिया कैरीज आउट इट्स फॉरन पॉलिसी वी आर एन ऑटोनॉमस नेशन एंड वी मेंटेन्स दैट ओके सो दीज थिंग्स यू हैव टू कवर ऑन योर ऑन नाउ देर इज अ डिबेट रिगार्डिंग सेक्शन टू नाइन फाइव ओके ए ऑफ इंडियन पिनल कोड एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोविजन इज एग्जिस्टिंग सो इट इज रिगार्डिंग द means speeches that are being made irresponsibly so someone is targeting any community and all so the cases are registered in the section 295a now history if you track it is it goes back to nearly 95 years where multiple times this particular you can say section has been invoked uh, specifically in case of hurting the religious sentiments of a community okay and this section has been uh upheld by the supreme court as well it has been declared constitutional okay isko constitutional bhi declare kiya hai supreme court ne uh because we have reasonable restrictions okay reasonable restrictions kiske upar reasonable restrictions expression of freedom of speech and expression ke upar okay we have freedom of speech and expression but that is not absolute so you have a reasonable restrictions that is 192 so it is said that section 295 is part of the reasonable restriction that if someone is using the speech to target any community okay and that is not desirable you are going to create enmity among the community members okay aap jo hai divide dal rahe ho so this provision is existing but every speech that is in, that is being made is not dividing the communities okay is not criticizing the community her statement religion ko आपके यहां पे क्रिटिसाइज नहीं करती है ओके सो यू हैव टू हैव अ सेपरेट लॉ फॉर हेट स्पीच सारे मामले आप इसके अंडर नहीं डाल सकते हो फॉर हेट स्पीच यू हैव टू कम आउट विद प्रॉपर डेफिनेशन प्रॉपर डेफिनेशन लेके आइए ओके बिकॉज हेट स्पीच कैन बी डन इन अ मल्टीपल वेज एंड इट इज सोर्ट ऑफ देर इज सोर्ट ऑफ एन एलिमेंट ऑफ सब्जेक्टिविटी नाउ समथिंग कैन बी अट फॉर यू माइट नॉट बी हेट फॉर मी So, ये चीज यहां पे आ जाती है सो वी हैव टू लुक इन टू दैट आस्पेक्ट एज वेल ओके इसीलिए बोल रहे हैं कि एक स्पेसिफिक लॉ हमें लेके आना चाहिए ठीक है ना हेड स्पीच को एड्रेस करते हुए सो बिल्ड इंडिया ऑफ फ्रीडम फाइटर्स ड्रीम ओके मोदी जी इज नाउ गिविंग अ कॉल टू द पीपल आजादी के अमृत महोत्सव पे दैट वी हैव टू कम आउट मेक दिस कंट्री इन सच अ वे दैट दिस इज वट आर फ्रीडम फाइटर्स दे सेक्रीफाइस देयर लाइफ फॉर ओके जिस चीज के लिए उन्होंने जान दे दी हमें देश वैसा बनाना है this is what prime minister is saying now assam up police is a demographic shift okay so this particular is about change in demography in the border areas border areas ke andar agar demography change hota hai it's a, a difficult thing okay difficulty paida hoti hai usse specifically in the law and order situation law and order ke andar jo situation hai wo mein usme badlav aata hai so that's why they are saying that this is also one of the challenge ye bhi ek naya challenge nikal ke aaya hai okay बिकॉज देर आर केसेज वेयर कॉम्यूनल टेंशन विल इंक्रीज कहीं ना कहीं कॉम्यूनल टेंशन जो है उसके इंक्रीज होने का चांस जो है वो इंक्रीज हो जाता है ठीक है ना सो दैट्स वाई दिस इज अ चैलेंज फॉर योर सिक्योरिटी एजेंसीज एज वेल ओके एंड दिस इज वट हैज बीन प्रोवाइडेड हेयर पॉइंटेड आउट हेयर तो दिस इज हाउ इट इज एंड अदर देन दैट देर इज नथिंग मच कुछ खास नहीं है यहाँ पे ओके सो अगेन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग एक्ट की पहला जो अभी वर्डिक्ट आया है वो कह रहा है कि इतनी स्ट्रिक्टनेस चाहिए ओके सो दे आर सेइंग दैट इट इज यू कैन से क्रिएटिंग अ हर्डल फॉर अंडर ट्रायल्स बिकॉज योर प्रिजन आर ओवर क्राउडेड ओके आपके प्रिजन ओवर क्राउडेड हैं और उसमें अब मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग वाले भी जेल में बैठेंगे ठीक है ना दे विल नॉट बी गिवन बेल इजिली इतनी आसानी से बेल नहीं मिलेगी उनको ओके okay. Other than that, there is nothing much, कुछ खास नहीं है यहाँ पे okay? So this is how things are. Uh, we'll move to this. इस पे चलते हैं देखते हैं और क्या है यहाँ पे So uh, like China is not happy with the visit of US officials to Taiwan, okay? And this is what is going on right now. They will poke each other. एक दूसरे को poke करते रहेंगे We have to see how things will progress, okay? So 
ये सब चलता रहता है ठीक है ना स्पेसिफिकली आफ्टर दिस यूक्रेनियन इन्वेजन पीपल आर नॉट ट्रस्टिंग दीज अथॉरिटेरियन पावर तो जहाँ जहाँ पे भी अथॉरिटेरियन लीडरशिप है लोग अब उनको ट्रस्ट नहीं करते हैं तो चाइना में भी अथॉरिटेरियन लीडरशिप है ओके दिस इज वॉट इट इज अबाउट अदर देन दैट देर इज नथिंग मच नाउ जर्मनी डिबेट्स न्यूक्लियर शट डाउन अमिट गैस सप्लाई कट्स ओके सो दिस इज द डाउट दैट इज देयर इन यूरोप डाउट इन द सेंस सी अर्लियर यूरोपियन कंट्रीज दे हैव अ टारगेट दे वर लुकिंग फॉर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स रिन्यूएबल्स ओके एंड राइट नाउ दे हैव अ डाउट दे हैव अ क्वेश्चन मार्क बिकॉज थिंग्स आर चेंज things have changed right now there is already a winter which is about to come and in the winters the requirement of gas will increase but gas is not available from russia to europe jo russia ke upar gas ke liye dependent tha ab aaj ki date mein wo gas nahi aayegi okay so they have to look for some alternative systems now they are debating this earlier european countries they have also decided that they will move away from nuclear technology न्यूक्लियर पावर से वो दूर हट जाएंगे क्यों आफ्टर द फुकुशिमा डिजास्टर इन जापान सो राइट नाउ द डिबेट इज दिस फॉर द टाइम बींग वेदर द न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी कैन बी यूज एज एन ऑल्टरनेटिव अब वो इस चीज को एक्सप्लोर कर रहे हैं ओके सो दिस इज हाउ द यूक्रेन रशिया वॉर इट हैज चेंज द एनर्जी कैलकुलस ऑफ यूरोपियन कंट्रीज ओके सो दिस इज वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन दिस इज वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन अदर देन दैट there is nothing much in today's newspaper so that's it for the day then thank you very much